Hi, Andrea, it's Tara, and I am looking at the tile pan um, posing bean bags, and I was not sure what to use as a size comparison, so first thing I just wanted to show you is kind of how large it is compared to my 70 to 200. Um, you can see that it's a decent size bag. It really, um, it smushes nice for like if you needed to bring it somewhere, but it just hangs in my studio room in my house. Um, just kind of hanging out waiting for my next photo shoot. So I'm just going to go through um, the package, the bag real quick just kind of show you the different sizes um, and then you can ask me if you have any questions I'm not going to give out exact sizes and dimensions but just show you how it looks in comparison to like the camera the 60 or the 70 to 200 this is the 24 to 105 so you can compare it to that too so this is one of the round ones um, great for putting like underneath baby's head or mom's head um, if you're laying on the floor under a focati. Um, this is a teeny tiny one for under baby's head in that same same situation or in a bucket to put under the chin. Um, this one is a nice long one and you can see the fabric they're um, all waterproof um, and they're wipeable, they're wonderful. But in comparison to my 24 to, or sorry, 70 to 200, you can see, oops, sorry. You can see that it's a good size. Um, it even keeps this from rolling off. Um, so anytime you need to support baby on the bean bag or in another uh, circumstance, it does a really good job with that shape. Um, let's see, sorry. This one is a nice rectangle shape, um, good for, you know, if you're going to do um, froggy pose or even just um, doing bum up, got to get um, any contouring, um, putting baby baby's head up underneath. Um, it's, a, it's a nice substantial size, so got that size. And then here is a round one, bigger, similar to this one, just a little bit different shape. Here we have a nice, small, smaller um, rectangle. So here you can see this in comparison to the 70 to 200, or if you want to look at it in comparison to the 24 to 105, kind of same shape as that, same size. Then, have a nice square shape. Sorry, getting too close. Um, and all of these just have, you can use kind of all of them mix and match in different situations. So it's kind of whatever you grab out of the bag works awesome. So you'll just figure out which ones you like best for all the different situations. Um, oh, and then the tie pen card. So I think that is, that's all seven. Um, and you'll just figure out you know, which ones you like to use best for, for each situation. I mean, um, some people like using specific ones for, um, froggy and some people have different, you know, favorites for those, but hopefully this will help you in making your decision. Um, what I found is that when I did my workshop with Anna, I used these and I had to have them. I, have a whole I've had a whole bunch of other ones um, from other vendors and they have a different material they're not as moldable um, they are really stiff and um, they just didn't work as well and I, I couldn't use them after I had used Anna's so these have been wonderful and I just have gotten rid of pretty much all of my other ones except for I have like a butterfly poser still um, but this really takes the place of all my folded up um, blankets and uh, rolled up, you know, 
receiving blankets and all those things. So hopefully this helps you. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, or anything else I can do to help. Um, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.